At first, it's instant fame. Han's article in May 2016 announced Argo, which would likely go about genome editing in a more orderly and simple way than all existing tools. That's including CRISPR, another popular editing tool that had been a strong contender for the Nobel Prize. No wonder the scientific community as well as media were elated over Han's work. But it needed further proof. Laboratories all over the world tried to reproduce the activity reported in the paper. By last summer, there were a lot of failures, and therefore, doubts. CGTN talked to the scientists when controversy started to bubble up. He was still confident then and told us this. There is an analogy which I think is very good. There is a pair of golden scissors, and people are thinking about how to make it even shinier. And there were other kinds of scissors, and what we found is a new one. Whether it is good or not, it is still a new pair. There has been constant controversy since. There were more failed attempts to reproduce Han's findings. He was asked by peers to provide his raw data for cross-examination. His patent application on the tool was withdrawn. And more than a year after the paper came out, it was finally Han's call to retract it from the journal Nature Biotechnology. He made a statement Thursday promising a third-party lookover of his experiments and to put out the findings in time. As for Nature Biotechnology, it published an editorial pointing out that the process of post-publication peer review could be slow and that in biology, answers are not always definitive. But it also said it's time for the data to speak for itself. Sun Yat, CGTN.